YouTube, how you doing earthlings? This is part 18, I think, of my sunflower with bumblebee sculpture I'm doing for my mum for Christmas. And I'm wanting to get it done as quickly as possible because I don't want to be rushing it. So, without rushing it, I'm trying to get it done well before Christmas and I'm a bit worried about actually how I'm going to I think I'm going to have to hold it in my lap because my father's coming up to pick me up right this is what I've done so far oh as you might be able to tell my cold I've pretty much as rugby people will say kicked it into touch because the three things I think you have to do to get rid of a cold is plenty of fluids, have a drink on hand all the time, like so, mmm, water with lemon and orange slices, yummy yummy, uh, have high humidity in your place you're living in, let me just speak to you, have high humidity, uh, good humidity for a home is somewhere between 30 and 50 percent so mine at the moment is 37 percent and when I first started because I've been putting water all around on my radiators and making sure my plants are well watered and that so high humidity the second is well there's a few things actually stay warm stay indoors if you can look after yourself eat properly eat the right foods, there's a saying, um, yeah I agree Rosie, it's long time till you're, what's the time, 20 past 9, you've got an hour, uh, yeah, um, there's a saying, uh, medicine is of no good if your diet's wrong, medicine is no need if your diet's right, so eat properly, um, Make sure your your all your all your fluids will make sure your your phlegmy, catari, throaty stuff, snot snottiness will become moist and it's easy to get rid of it. Get rid of it as quickly as possible, as much as possible. <laughs> and if you blow your nose, wash your hands after every time. Clean your hands with my hand sanitizer I've been using for the coronavirus, so you haven't got any virus on your hands at all, and that just limits the amount of virus in your body and within days you can start getting rid of your cold without having to go to the doctors or medicines or anything like that it's all, it all happens with just simple simple little things but anyway so back to my sculpture that's the main reason for the video uh, my battery's about to die as well so I better be quick right so you can see I've paste of stuck on here five of my little flowerlets and I've got loads more here this is about half of what I've got still left over I've got about three that aren't, aren't worthy of being sorted out so I'm just in the process of sticking these on I put all these on without painting them and I found it was really difficult to get the paint in all the different areas so what I've done is painted them all first of all oh, my battery's gone up to full power okay painted them all first and then I'm going to be trying to find ones that fit on these outer two rings of the CD area and if you look on a picture this is how high they sit but they have a kind of a bulbous bit for underneath the flower but I'm going to have to kick that bit into touch as well I've already had a little bit of damage on the edge here so I think that when I transport it down I think I'll have to have it in a flat box with very fluffy stuff around the base maybe some kind of areas around here where there's no overlapping leaves but I'm thinking I'm just going to have to hold it in a box on my lap because of all the speed humps and all that um, so I've just got these to stick on I say just it's really fiddly uh, for instance long for that particular place. 
place now, probably places put down here somewhere. But this particular one here, it's going to be really hard to find one that's going to fit on there. So I think that some might just have to not have flowers on. And that one there, I'm no way going to be able to get one on that one next to it. So I think I'm just going to have to do the best I can. These ones that are really close together, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. But yeah, so that's this process. Then I think I'm going to be rolling out a, a thin sausage of clay, painting it dark and snipping it off the ends as I'm doing the sort of stamen bits. They're going to come out about another, another millimetre out the end there. And then the white bit at the end of the clay, I'm going to be dotting with some yellow paint and that will be the pollen for the bee to be gathering and then I'll make the bee and then that will be it so I think I'm probably going to have to make more than a hundred to do these two outer rings but I'm just going to have to carry on as I am so I'm, I'm placing them on and then I'm using my super glue do a little dob of super glue in the middle just to hold them all in place so these are all nicely on there. So I'm just going to carry on doing that now. In fact, I'm going to do one while you're watching just so you can see my process. If I can find one that's particularly squishy together, I might be able to get that one. need a little bit of touching up with paint but painting these in the dark so some of them are a little bit underpainted so putting one like so and then a little dob of super glue and I'm usually using too much so about the excess and that will be it that's that one on there okay so about a hundred more to go because I've done half of them so far this is about 50 just over 50 so wish me luck and um, thank you very much for watching it's unusually warm today it's 15 degrees out there and it's the 12th of November, 12th of December. I was went out to feed the birds and I was just I put the too big a jacket on. And it's really, really humid as well. One of those mornings where the ground's cold but there's lots of moisture in the air, so you get loads of moisture all over everything. Very nice. Lemony, orangey water. Um, yeah, vitamin C as well isn't really echinacea. No, just look after yourself. Humidity in your home. Drink lots and lots of fluids. Always have a drink. Wash your hands all the time. And eat properly and keep warm and stay in if you can. That's your cold remedy. Anyway. going to carry on doing this now thank you very much for watching 10 minutes good morning good afternoon good evening and goodbye and be careful out there have a good day and be lucky